Hello, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Barista Bernardo Antonio, a Kenyan, working in Kuwait City, uh, here at Grand Avenue Mall. Uh, today, I just want to make a short video uh, for the baristas who are trying uh, to be uh, good baristas in future. Just a small video to show them on how we can able to use uh, the machines and things they are expected to use. Because we have so many baristas, they get into uh, baristering without knowing the equipment that they are using. So today, just going to have a small uh, demo on the things that we are supposed to use as baristas in our counters. Welcome and join me. Thank you. Uh, so today, uh, basically, I'm just going to show uh, some of the few stuff here and there, uh, which we need to know uh, in our machines. Uh, when you are doing our coffees, what is their name, what is their function, how do they work, how we are supposed to use them, and how we are supposed to handle them. So basically we have uh, machines, I understand that uh, each and every bar barista or an upcoming barista knows that we have different type of machines that we have for barista coffee. Uh, for instance, we have the Lamazoko, uh, we have Rancilio, and I myself here, I use uh, Cineso. So uh, for the Cineso, we have different parts of the machines that we need to know that are also incorporated in other machines. For instance, today I'll start with my, uh, I'll start with this. I understand for baristas who are starters, they always tend to forget the name of this. So we have these ones that we always use, most of the time we see them, the baristas, they do some of the coffee needs, but the real name of this one is a quarter filter. So for the quarter filters, we have two, we have three types of quarter filters uh, in our machines. So this one is a double quarter fil filter that gives us two extractions of coffee, a double shot. We also have a quarter filter, which is just a single shot. And also we have a quarter filter, which is just three. So we have three in one, we have two in one, and also we have one. Then we just have a fly water filter. So these are the things that as a barista you are expected to know, the types of water filter that we use. Then as, as a barista also that you need to know the parts of the machine. Like for instance in my Sinesa machine, uh, we have a timer, very very important for the barista actually, uh, this equipment here. It helps you to know uh, the exact time of the extraction of the espresso, of the espresso when being extracted from the group head. How long does a shot of espresso needs to take? How long does a double shot of espresso needs to take? So the time will able to guide us. But you can, you can subscribe in my videos down there and able to see on how I'll be able to come up with a video on how you can do the calibration and the extractions of coffee. Then we have something in the machine which is called a group head. This is what we call a group head in our machines. So the group head, this is where we do our extractions of the coffee in it. Then from this machine also, we have a, a one gadget. It's called a steaming jet. A steaming jet basically is used to steam the milk. Whereby sometimes you see the baristas, they'll put their milk in their jar, then they put inside, then they steam. So basically it's the steamer. It makes, it makes our milk hot when you want to do uh, any, any, latte, any, any latte that you need. Then, from the steaming jar or the steaming jet, we also have uh, a gauge in our machine. Most of the machines that we use, we are able to see that we have a gauge. So the gauge in the machine is very, very important because it actually tells us the temperature of a machine. So, and the temperature of a machine is very, very important. So we need to monitor this one. So in my next videos, I'll be able to tell you how much temperature the machine needs to be and how much it is supposed to be like constantly. Then also, we have in our machine, most of the machines, uh, we have this. Uh, this is just a water tank uh, for steaming or for making uh, hot water. Then from here also, we have uh, 
enog. So for enog, uh, for enog, this one used for the cleaning. So for the cleaning enog. Then from there also, we have also seen the balisters, they use a very round tool. Some are shiny, some have different colors. So most of us, we tend to forget the name of this one. These are called uh, the thumping knob. The thumping knob, basically, we also use see, the balisters. They use it in thumping the coffee and leveling the coffee. Sometimes you see the balisters are thumping the coffee, they'll do like this and able to squeeze. So they use a thumping knob. So this is called a thumping knob. Very, very, very important. We cannot work without this. Then, uh, as we continue also, we have certain small, small equipments which are very important and vital uh, in balistering. Like for instance, we have different types of, uh, of scales. We have a smaller scale. Sometimes one will wonder why this is small and also why this is big. Where do we use this and where do we use this? Especially in balistering, the, the measuring machines or the, the scales, they are very important when you are doing our calibration. For instance, the small ones we use when we want to get the right dose of the coffee when we are doing the calibration. And if you subscribe into my channel down there, you be able to see how to do the calibration with the small uh, scale. Then the bigger scale that we have over here, we basically uh, use it when also we are doing other measurements. For example, the grammage for the coffee, we want to do the grammage, the, the ML for the milk, so we use uh, this scale. So everything in balistering goes with scale to get our perfect uh, uh, results. Then uh, in machines also, we, there's also something called hygiene. So most of the machines also as we have, they always come with something uh, like a small tub or a small sink. So like my signature machine, I have a very small uh, tub over here. It's just basically something maybe after I've steamed my, my milk and I want to rinse it. I can use this basically to rinse my machine. So these are the, some of the parts of the balisters you need to know so that you can finalize the machine when you are doing your work. Then we also have a very small cup with some calibration. This is very important actually when you are doing the extraction of the espresso. It gives you basically the ML of the extraction of the coffee. So you need to have this as actually when we are doing uh, the balistering work in the counter. Then as you can see, my counter, there's another small gadget here that we have. It's very, very important. Most of the machines, most of the machines, uh, we don't have this. Sometimes back I've used the Lama Zoko, the Sineso, they don't have this. But the, the machine that I'm using, it is a manual and an automatic machine. So this is a temperature gadget. It's like a monitor that controls the machine. It controls the temperature of the machine. It controls uh, the dosage and the things that are supposed to be metabolized the machine. Then next, what I'm going to introduce, I'm going to show you uh, this, which is most popular. Most of us have seen most of the people are using it. This one, you call it a grinder. So we have different types of grinders. So the grinder that I'm using here is a duo. Duo means it can be manual, it can also be automatic. So most of the time you have seen uh, baristas using a manual grinder, whereby when they want to do the extraction of the coffee, they'll put uh, their water filters, then they tap. So that's manual. Uh, that's manual. But this one is also automatic and it's calibrated and it's when you're doing the calibration, automatically, if you use it, it gives you the right measurement of the coffee. And it stops by itself because it has already been programmed in the system. But the manual ones, you have to extract by yourself and also do a, an IV measurement. But this one is more advanced. So these are, the sums, these are some of the machines that we're able to get.
on top we have a coffee uh, that we use De depending on where you are working the location we have preferences of coffee for instance uh, here we are using brazilian coffee and also we are using uh, colombian coffee but in essential uh, i've seen uh, in most restaurants or in most coffee shop they only have one uh, grinder the same same grinder is used for the white base coffee with milk and espresso but here uh, is coffee speciality we are deep into coffee so we have two categories of the grinders this brazilian is medium roast basically for the white base coffee with milk then here i have the colombian coffee as you can see the color they are different this one is dark medium roast for the dark medium roast we use it specifically for coffee such as espresso we use it specifically for uh, americanos so that's the difference uh, about the, the grinders then next which is very important is this tool very 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 important but most of often we have seen when our baristas, baristas are doing our their job in the counters they don't use this and some have asked them what's the use of this they really don't know but they can tell me that a thermometer so thermometer is very essential for a barista when doing the work one the thermometer help us actually to measure the temperature of the milk because it is very very important when we are doing a doing our barista anymore when we are forcing the milk and steaming the milk the milk as you see in my subsequent video below, the temperature for the milk needs to be 60 to 65 degrees. So this one is very important to help us to get the temperature of the milk when you're steaming. For more info about steaming the milk, about uh, how to use this, you can also check in my, in my YouTube channel and subscribe down below. Then uh, as we continue, uh, we also have uh, cups that uh, we use for uh, our drinks, for instance, we use these cups for our coffee, they are too small, some they wonder, because in most of the restaurants they use very big cups to make their coffee and latte art, but us, we have this, we call this ceramic and we call this portado glass, these are the glasses that we use, so depending on the restaurant that you're having and the style they're having for their coffee, and the only differences. Then one more thing that I like our coming baristas to know is this. In my in my entire uh, career as a barista, uh, for instance, uh, where I worked back home in Kenya, it was just a barista encounter, doing coffee, does it, and doing the production. But when I was developing my career. Uh, much more further, I came to realize there is a tool which is very important for the barista to know and it's this monster over here very very important sometimes we get jobs we come, we find the monster we are not used to it so as an upcoming barista try to familiarize with the micros this one is called a micros a micros is a small system with this program actually with items it is the types of coffees that we are selling and the types of uh, uh, the productions that the company or the organization is selling so get to know how to work with it because most of the time you find in many jobs maybe like uh, in the gulf you are the same barista as the same you are a cashier so if you are eyeing for a more better jobs, please familiarize yourself with this. I'll get to you more much about that, about the training. Then, final but not least, uh, when I was starting my baristering at a very uh, tender age, I never came across these items. And uh, I bet in most of the countries, we don't have this don't have this so it is very difficult for baristas who come and work in the Gulf 
and found these items. They don't know the names. For instance, this is called a V60. They are used for manual brews. I'll explain much more in my upcoming video on how to do the V60s and the manual brews. But today, basically, it's just to get to know the terms and how they are. So these are a V60. Uh, we have different types of shapes of V60. We also have one. And nowadays they come also in plastic and also in glass. But nowadays they use them in plastic because it's much more cheaper to afford and they are much more portable. But then also we have one gadget called Aeropress. It's also used for the manual hot brews. I will be able to explain much more later how we use it. But today it's just to know their names. Their names and how we use them we'll be able to explain. So this is called Aeropress used for the hot manual brews. Then we have a very nice uh, monster over here. This is called uh, Chemix. Chemix. So today basically I'm not going to show how we work with them but just to get to know their names. But in, in my subsequent uh, videos about the manual brews, you can able to subscribe down there my channel. I'll able to show how we come up with the V60s. Then um, we have another big monster here. Uh, my friend and my, my buddy. This is called a grinder. So it is a commercial grinder. In, in, essentially, I show you about a small grinder, but also we have a commercial grinder. So this is a big commercial grinder. It's used basically to grind uh, coffee in huge consumptions. So the only difference between this and this is that this one is automated. It is automatically. You can use it manually and also it's automatically uh, uh, automated in the, in, in the calibration. So you can use it uh, manually and also uh, you can also use it uh, uh, the way it is. But this one, it is manual. You have to do everything manual. If it is maybe doing uh, an, an instruction uh, for the coffee grinding, you have to do it manual. So you have to have your right measurements. There's no stoppage, there's no timer as this one. So it's, it's a commercial. Even if you can see uh, the bag on top, it's much more bigger. So used for commercial uh, grinding for a manual bruise. Then um, last but not least, some of the things that you need to know that you have seen, they are this. I think as baristas we have seen this one. Most of us, they always ask ourselves, uh, what are the purpose of this one? So these ones, we have them numerous. These ones are called syrup. And the syrup, they come in different flavors. We have the caramel syrup, we have vanilla. Uh, we also have uh, one here for coconut, uh, coconut syrup. So basically these syrups, they add value and flavor to our coffees. Simple, period. That's the work of the vanilla syrup. So as a barista who is upcoming, it is good actually to get to know uh, the things that you are expected to use as a barista uh, in the counter. That's why I thought it wise to come up with this video because we tend to struggle to get to know uh, what is this, why am I going to use this, uh, what is the function of this, or maybe you are using a certain item, don't know the name. So I thought of coming with this video just to be able to show uh, a few stuff here and there. Then we have uh, finally this one, I know most of us know it. Uh, it's a blender, but this is a commercial blender. We also have different type, small blenders, but this one is commercial. What do I mean by a commercial blender? A commercial blender, it is something, it's a, it's a blender that can do any work. It can blend anything. Take your finger, put it here, it can be blended. Take down and put it here, it can be blended. That's why you call it commercial and it's very fast and it's very efficient. So these are some of the things that you will be using on a daily basis, maybe uh, as a barista at, at your station. Uh, I'm really grateful uh, to come up with this. And there are so many more insights and so many things that I'll able to come up with in my channel, YouTube channel. Kindly please like 
subscribe and share and also comment and don't forget also to click on that bell to get more updates are you thank you once again i'm barista bernardo antonio uh, kenyan from wade city grand avenue small thank you